to start off making these pants, I went to a local Goodwill and bought some slacks. They're actually like dress pants slacks, but they'll work just fine. I am taking this idea from Maldex. He's another cosplayer on YouTube, so go check him out and give him credit. He had made the pants before me. I was just going to leave them how they are, but he found a way to put the design. So you start out by getting a pen or pencil and marking at the knee, the middle or the top, and marking a line. Then what you're going to do is cut that line and cut everything off below it. Then put that on the inside and sew it back on about an inch above as you put a slit, a little triangle right there, and then take that and put it on underneath so it hangs over. I'm going to link Maldex's video below. You can watch that for real better information and give him credit. To start off making these boots, I had a leather jacket that was actually a trench coat that I bought from Goodwill. Um, I had cut off the bottom of it, which is why it was so long. And I'm going to lay this out flat and roll this around my leg so I can find the distance that I need to cut. First, you're going to have to get, all, get rid of the insulation, which I've already done. I forgot to add. So wrap it around your leg. Put your leg in the middle or the side or whatever. Wrap it around and cut off whatever you need. After you have wrapped it around carefully, take your time doing that and make sure that the distance is correct around your leg but still gives you enough rocking room. Speaking of that, you should walk around and make sure you're comfortable with the distance around while wearing your pants. After you pin it, you can sew it all the way down. And then after you sew that, uh, I had an idea to keep it up on your leg because it kept sliding down on mine. Take the pant leg without you wearing it and slide it through the leg in the front and the back and face it whichever way you want it compared to the pants and put two holes on the back or two lines to make holes on the back, excuse me, and one on the front and make sure they line up with the way you want the pant direction to be because we're going to put buttons there, so we can put button holes on the pants, which are going to be covered by an overhang that will be added later in this video. To make the overhang, like I had mentioned before, you're going to take the width of these pant legs times two, plus a little extra because of the sides. Then you're going to come out with a piece like this, a little bit taller, maybe about twice the um, width of it, and you're going to sew it on backwards, so then when you fold it over, the leathery side is face up. It goes all the way around, from start to finish, make the crease end right there. So the crease will start there, but it is folded over with the felt side facing up, not the leather side. After you have pinned it on, you can fold it over, make sure it works. Look around the whole uh, circumference of the boot. Make sure you like it, cut off any excess that you don't like. Then you're going to flip it back over and along the edge, sew or fabric glue or whatever you like along there, just to hold it down. Then you're going to need to sew the top part and the sides going up along the crease to hold them down too. Now once you're done sewing along the bottom, it is time to sew up the side and the top like I had just mentioned. If you don't, it will sag open and hang off because there is nothing holding it up, so I suggested doing this. Just go right along the middle like you had just done before. To make the buttonholes, you can slide up the pant leg or the boot leg onto the pant leg, excuse me, and write with pen or pencil or whatever's visible where the buttonholes would go corresponding to where they were on the pants. Then you can take an X-Acto knife or scissors or any kind of utensil that would cut through, fold up this edge and cut through on the 
line because that fold will cover the buttons if they happen to go through. Lastly, you're going to get some shoes. I'm using dress shoes that you can wear underneath of the boots that you had just made. Once you're done, just take the pant legs and slide them up off the boots, button them, and then put them on and see if they fit, and they should work. That's it, guys. Like, comment, and subscribe for more cosplay.